Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about woke is a white privilege. Yes, white privilege exists and it's best expressed by wokeism. Let's talk about that tonight in the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, woke is the right privilege. Yes, have you ever noticed online, all the people who are promoting uh, the wokeism, it's generally not refugees or immigrants, recent immigrants, it's definitely not foreigners so much. I mean, occasionally you have the token one who is part of the kind of, you know, woke phenomenon who's getting the, you know, $200,000 a year grant to be part of it. But outside of those people and outside the kind of Aborigine that they allow onto the ABC, most people uh, are behind this are upper middle class white left wingers, right? Right? Let's face it, that's exactly who, and they're constantly acting in a patriarchal way towards every community you can imagine. They're always speaking out on behalf of the Aboriginal community, speaking on behalf of refugees, speaking on behalf of climate change. Everything to do with wokeism is a phenomena of upper middle class white people, particularly the people who work at the ABC and particularly people who work at the age. And of course, you know, the train that follows. Some of them are students, some of them are from various classes, but you know, below or whatever. But this is, uh, this is what this phenomena is. And also if you notice with wokeism, it's a kind of, really like whenever they bring something woke to it it's like it's not like they make it better it's not like they say oh we're going to make this character black or and and suddenly it's much much better you know what i mean like you know for example say finn in um uh the new star wars film right you know there was a big hoo-ha that uh, one of the main characters was black in the new star wars film now i mean was he like um you know landau carissian a really groovy character who turned up in part three who was like you know best friend with the hand solo almost like the black hand solo he was a fantastic character and George Lucas is known for, not exactly known for being woke and also then there was um, you know like Mace Windu in the, in the, the, the first uh, trilogy that Lucas did afterwards um, and you know he was a really cool Jedi character and these characters rocked these were fantastic characters. Everybody loves these characters. And no one thought it was kind of woke casting. People thought, well, he's just a black guy who happens to be a Jedi and he's just a, you know, like a smuggler who happens to be black. And these were great characters. But no, this, then they, they give a black character in the new one and the character's terrible. He's like an ex-stormtrooper who's just a fuckwit and does nothing. And that's it. He doesn't do anything. He stumbles around for the series. He's hopeless. He's not a hero. He's cowardly. And that's it, he's not a good pilot, he's not really anything. And that's the kind of woke, and they do this thing, and they've done it with Doctor Who. They made the Doctor Who female, and what have they done? No one, no one watches, and they haven't made, the Doctor hasn't been great as female, they give her terrible storylines. I mean, I haven't watched that many episodes, but I've watched some, it's just a disaster. So it's like when they make, when they change the casting around, it's worse. It's not like they, they provide them with better scripts. It's kind of, you know, in a strange sense, uh, insulting towards the very agenda that they're uh, are trying to promote. And I think it's got a lot to do with uh, the fact that it's coming from these upper middle class, you know, white people who want to signal their decency. They just want to signal these things. They don't want to actually put in the work to make a character great in a new show. And I think that's why, you know, the phrase comes about, you know, go woke and go broke. And it is a kind of white privilege too to kind of um you know be able to sort of and obviously another thing of white of wokeness is to kind of hate on white europeans which of course most woke people are and um you know they're kind of hating on themselves and that of course is a kind of privilege because only when you are, are in, a, in a in a position of, of of power that you don't question your own power that it's got you you know will continue on in for the next 20 or 30 years can you question it you know what i mean so i think that's something that's going on with these upper middle class um you know white leftists uh, new left people and you know they're sickening and um they're all about themselves it's narcissistic and it's bullshit jordan peterson has, contact, uh, has commented many times on all this stuff and i think it's bullshit and that's all i wanted to say today on the report from tiger mountain thank you for listening